नमस्कार टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन टू यू सम इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑफ चैप्टर एट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फाइंड पैरामीटर एंड टोटल सर्फिस एरिया ऑफ द गिवन फिगर्स नाउ हेयर इन फर्स्ट पार्ट यू हैव टू फाइंड द पैरामीटर ऑफ दिस फिगर सो पैरामीटर मीन्स यू हैव टू फाइंड द बाउंड्री लेंथ ऑफ दिस फिगर Here you have two half circles in the corners, and you will add only the length of this rectangle. So, if you are starting from here, first of all you will add the perimeter, or you can say the circumference of this semicircle. Then, plus the length of this rectangle. then again the perimeter or circumference of this half circle and then again the length of the rectangle so your formula will become perimeter equals to pi r plus 16 plus pi r plus 16 when you will add pi r into pi r it will become 2 pi r and 2 pi r is the perimeter of a circle when you will join these two circles it will become a circle and the circumference of a circle equals to 2 pi r so you will add 16 to 16 it will become 32 now you will simply put the values here and then you will get the answer for example in 2 pi r 2 as it is the value of pi you can take till two decimal places 3.14 otherwise you can also take 22 by 7 and the value of r here the diameter of the circle is 8 so diameter of the circle is 8 so the radius will be 8 divided by 2 which is equals to 4 cm so that's why we are putting here radius equals to 4 and then 32 as it is when you you will multiply all these numbers or for your convenience first you can multiply 2 with 3.14 you will get 6.28 and then multiply by 4 and 32 as it is in the next step when you will multiply 6.28 with 4 <coughs> and when you will add 32 in it you will get 57.14 now the area of circle uh, here you have again to uh, figure area of circle plus area of this rectangle now area of this whole figure equals to area of circle plus area of rectangle so area of circle you know that it is equals to pi r square plus area of rectangle equals to length into width now again the value of pi you can take 3.14 into the value of r is 4 r square means you will multiply 4 two times and then Length is 16, width is 8. So after simplification, first you will multiply all these numbers. You will get 15.24, and when you will multiply 16 with 8, you will get 128. And by adding these two values, you will get 178.24 centimeters square. And now in question number two. Again, you have to find the perimeter of this figure, and you have to find the area of it. So, so finding the perimeter, first of all, you will add six, then you will add five, then again you will add five because this is isosceles triangle. In isosceles triangle, the two sides, 
are equal. So that's why you are adding 5 and then again 5. And then you will add 6 and then in the last you will add 3. So perimeter equals to the boundary then. You are adding all the things. 6 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5 plus 5 which is equals to 25. Now area of rectangle plus area of triangle it is equal to area of the whole figure. So area of rectangle as you know that it is equal to length into width and area of triangle its formula is 1 by 2 into base into height. Now the length of rectangle is 6 the width is 3. Similarly the base of a triangle is 3. And this is a base because opposite sides of a triangle are equal. So you can see the base of this triangle is all 3. So base is 3 and the height of this triangle. Height of this triangle as you know that the total height of this figure is 10 and the height of this you can see the length of this rectangle is 6. When you will subtract 6 from 10, you will get the height of this triangle, which is equal to 4. So, by putting the value here, of height equals to 4 and base 3, you will get, after simplification, you will get 6. You can cancel 2 with 4. 2 ones are 2 and 2 twos are 4. And when you will multiply 2 with 3, you will get 6. Now adding 18 and 6, you will get 24 centimeters here. Question number 3. Again, you have to find the perimeter and the area of this figure. So, perimeter again is the boundary length. So, suppose you are starting from uh, from the circular portion. This is semicircle. The curved portion of this circle, semicircle, is pi r. Then you will take pi r here. Then again you will add plus 9. This is the length of the rectangle. So, pi r plus 9 plus 6 plus 9 again you have to add the boundary lengths of circle and the boundaries of this rectangle so your formula will become p equals to pi r plus 9 plus 9 plus 6 again um, when you will put the value of pi which is equals to 3.142 but for your convenience you can also take this decimal place is 3.24 otherwise you can also take 22 by 7 so here if no sign is given then you will take multiplication sign between pi and r the value of r is 3 the value of r is 3 because here the diameter of this circle is given which is 6 because the opposite sides of the rectangle are equal, that's why its diameter is also 6. And the radius is half of the diameter. That's why the value of radius equals to 3 here. So you will put the radius equals to 3 here. Then plus, you will add all these numbers, you will get 24 here. So after simplification, 3 multiplied by 3 by 1, 4 will get 9.14 sorry 9.42 and then plus 24 adding these two numbers you will get 33.42 centimeter and now area in case of area again in this figure you have two type of figure one rectangle and one is the half circle so for finding the area you will uh, add the area of rectangle and area of semicircle so area of rectangle is length into width and area of semicircle is half pi r square. Now, when you will put the values here, the length equals to 9, width equals to 6, and here the value pi equals to 
3.14 the value of r is 3 because r square means you will multiply r two times that's why you multiply 3 two times here so 9 6 are 54 here and here you will multiply your numerators 3 into 3 into 3.14 which is equals to 28.6 and 2 as it is in the next step when you will divide 2 when you will divide 28.6 by 2 you will get 14.13 and then 54 plus 14.13 equals to 68.13 and now in the last part again you have to find the perimeter of this figure you have a semicircle and you have a isosceles triangle so again boundary length means the uh, circumference of this semicircle plus this length of the triangle 2.5 plus this length of the triangle which is 2.5 so your formula will become perimeter equals to pi r plus 2.5 plus 2.5 by putting the values pi equals to 3.14 and the radius is 4 here the radius is 4 here because the diameter is 8 here the diameter of the circle is 8 so radius is half the diameter that's why you're changing 4 here and plus after adding 2.5 and 2.5 you get 5 here. now when you will multiply 4 with 3.14 you will get 12.56 and then by adding so you will get 17.56 millimeter. Now again you have to find the area. Here you have two figures. A, you will find the area of semicircle plus area of this triangle. So area of semicircle is half pi r square plus area of triangle is 1 by 2 base into height. So when you will put the values half, the value of pi is 2.14, the value of r is Four, and here you have square square means you will multiply 4 with 4 and then plus half base base is 8 here the base of a triangle is 8 and then the height is 4 the height of a triangle is 4 because the total height of this figure is 8 but you need the height of this triangle as you know that the radius of this semicircle is 4 so you will subtract the length of the radius from this total height so the total height is 8 and the value of radius is 4 so you will subtract 4 from the total height so the height of triangle will become only 4 so you will put here the value of the height equals to 4 and you can cancel 2 with this 4. 2 1s are 2 and 2 2s are 4. So 2 8s are 16 in the next step. So when you will multiply all these numbers 4 with 4 and with 3.14 and divide by 2, you will get 25.12. And plus, after simpli uh, simplification of this side, you will get 16. After adding both numbers, you will get 41.12. So girls, you can practice these type of questions at home. Best of luck for the test. Thanks for watching the video.